killing early on Mewtwo. Yeah, a lot of things that Logic has to worry about right now. But let's see how much he has to worry about um, as the set plays out. Here we go, game one. So starting off footsies, I mean, 19 damage to Lucario from one of those white pick, and my lord, those things rack up that percent. But I guess Ali as a character is really good at getting that percent. He has a little bit of trouble killing, but Cordy's a character, playing a character that doesn't care about getting racked up on. Yeah, exactly. Like, look at right there. Oh, that is a nice tech. So Pikmin latches, and go ahead, Cordy goes ahead and throws out that counter. He basically gets an instant attack that's safe that's going to teleport him to the other side of the stage. Yeah, and I like how Cordy. Oh, Logic missed punch there. But I like how Cordy isn't even really trying to get the Pikmin off him right now. He's just like, you know, oh, power up. Yeah, exactly. Like, I want this. You're playing right in my hands. Or if you're canceled, can't get the up air, though. That, that's already looking strong as hell. That actually, I think Logic beat, baited him there. He tossed the Pikmin and then immediately called it back. Mm -hmm. Pikmin do absorb Aura Spear, so that's going to give Logic some shield here. Yeah, and that's a shield that he's going to really need. That Aura Spear is not something he wants to get hit with, especially right now. That might have killed if that Pikmin did dig the bullet for him. Yes, sir. Side B will cut through that, though, so it's kind of going to be a 50-50 game here. Mm -hmm. If Logic guesses wrong, then he might be Space Dust. Oh, you can hear the charge on that Aura Spear. Yeah, anytime Lucario gets up like 140, 150, I'm, just, I'm terrified. You should be. Like, you could give me a character with like a frame one reflector. I don't care. I'm still terrified. That, oh. That's it. Catching the roll. <laughs> and that hard roll read logic kind of put on notice. And especially right now, we are beyond rax or max rage and aura. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Roll read for Commentator's a roll read. curse. Immediately just go ahead and hold that up smash. This man really getting aura sphere combos at 0%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting hit by it, too. Yeah. See how safe that is? Like, that's going to kill, too, at high percent if Logic isn't careful. Oh, yeah. Luckily, the Pikmin put on a little bit of hit lag, so it's easier to react to, but I would hate to see the shield damage later on. Oh, yeah, you ain't wrong. Oof. Pretty abusing that counter. Normally, Luke's don't throw it out, but I mean, here. Yeah, Logic doesn't look ready to punch it at all. No, sir. That's a punish, though. Good damage. Logic has to get some Pikmin. Now he has two purples. That's so much space. Yeah, he's got to get some kills early here. That spike looked meaty. Yeah, I'm really surprised it didn't connect. Lodge, though, might be patience. in a bit of danger soon. Yeah, I love the patience from him. Whoa. <laughs> Cordy just struggling to get that one lone Pikmin. Please. So even when they're latched the block or sphere, that is, that has got to be annoying for him. Yeah, but look at the movement by Cordy, by the way. Look at that. Nice Great SDI. Yeah, yeah, he's he's holding out for dear life. He knows what's coming. Yeah, he had to do that. Now the white's on Cordy. Gets it off him real quick, though. He might not want that rage right now because Olimar has a lot of rage, too. Goes Ooh, straight nice through him, and Logic will hit that every single time. Game one. And a nail-biter goes through to Logic. Yes, sir. That's that's every match with Lucario is a nail-biter. Whenever <laughs> he's, oh, they're at even percents. Well, I guess he's going to go ahead and kill him in one hit. I'm sweating, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just the heat. It's the character out here putting us on notice. Yeah. I w I'm actually really interested to see how this plays out because Logic is one of those players who adapts super hard. I very rarely see him um, lose a set after taking game one. No, I, I agree. In addition, I think that he does have some tech for this matchup. You saw him always landing with hitboxes. Even if it's not the safest thing to do in this game in general, the fact is it covers Aura Sphere. Mm -hmm. And if it, you're covering Aura Sphere, you're shutting down Cordy's ability to actually camp and get damage from range. You're forcing the man to go in. And Lucario doesn't have the best offensive options until he gets up that aura. Yeah, exactly. And now he's going to have more time to build up that aura on his counterpick of Battlefield. And one of the things I hear from a lot of Lucarios is that you kind of need to bet or ban the stage uh, in your set because the blast zones are so big that every time he gets to live, if, especially if he has Rage and Aura, he's going to make it back because the up is OD. And he's going to just have more time to build it up. So uh, that's definitely going to be a factor that Logic has to play around. In, in addition, Ollie's not the best one with Sharking. Mm -hmm. Ollie doesn't really have the best coverage above him. So I, I could definitely like see if Cordy gets a lead and forcing Logic to make tough decisions to actually approach him effectively. And so far, the decisions are already getting tough. Look at that. I mean, Rage is going to be on mine, so... He has to do something, but Logic going for it all. He only has one Pikmin, so he's going to be able to make it back. But look at the size of that Aura Sphere. I know I'm yelling, but I feel like that wouldn't have killed, but that would have been close. I mean, I, I, I never doubt kills. <laughs> Anytime Lucario is above 60% and he hits me with anything, no, I'm dead. Yeah. Hurry spikes up. like, oh, man, am I dead? That back air definitely would have been dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or that up air. Logic is just making all the right calls here. Great down tilt to pick him up. I don't think it two-framed either. He's going to make it back, though. I think Logic was cheeky with that get-up attack. He was trying to get with one of those weird, like, Smash 4 specials. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Shrine Battlefield. Kill throw. Down tilt again. Logic is on point with these two frames. Yeah, I love it. But you know what I love even more? That wall jump recovery from Cordy. Yeah, Cordy's adapting. Is that a blue? No, not quite. Look at that. This is exactly what Cordy wanted, though. Oh. Ooh, can't, he goes for the grab rather than He's the up But that side B? <laughs> side B. Bye. Center stage, 60-something percent. Exploded. There is no chance he was going to live that. <laughs> Sending that man home. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, you don't, you don't need Pikmin to go home. I'm, I'm going to send you there right now. Yeah, good thing he has that space helmet on, because he's going to need it all the way out there. Exactly. This man's going to space. He needs that oxygen. Now, Cordy's being a bit cheeky. He basically is realizing... Well, he was basically realizing the Logic was trying not to approach. Logic was playing at a bit of a distance. So he was using that side B to kill any Pikmin that's coming through. Logic has the patience, though. Cordy got a little bit antsy, went in, and got hit by that pivot grab. Blue Pikmin, pretty nice kill throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised I killed without rage right there, though. Please don't get spiked. All right. I swear that yellow Pikmin spike hitbox is smaller. Every time someone tries to spike me the yellow Pikmin, I survive. I mean, I'm pretty sure sometimes it doesn't spike. Like, I think it depends on what Pikmin you have. Or that be might have yeah. just been in Brawl. Oh, no. I don't want to spread misinformation. Don't quote me anyone. Please. All right. Footstool in the down air again. Nice conversion. Punishing the re-grab. Oh! Is, well, that, that will kill if it hits again. My lord, that was so smart by Cordy, but he doesn't need it. He gets the Aura Sphere from off stage. Logic asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, Logic even had to reel back a little bit and just be like, yeah. bro, I actually got hit by that. <laughs> exactly. He had, had plenty of time to react. Yeah, you had a half, stage length and a half to just press <laughs> the L or R button. If that was WarioWare, Wario would be sitting there laughing at yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. That, that's a man needs, he's going to need to pick his jaw off the floor from <laughs> yeah. chuckling at you there. All right, game three. We said Logic's good at that thing. We said he doesn't normally lose after winning game one. Now it's time to see if it's actually going to happen here. Cordy can go ahead and get the adaptation in. Yeah, he does have the counterpick advantage, so I feel like he's going to want to stage with smaller blast zones. I wouldn't be surprised if Town and City and Final D are going to be uh, like one of the two bands. Yeah. I'd say I'd ban Town. My God, taking Olimar to Town, that sounds miserable. Yeah, all that space to run around and plus the low ceiling too. But you have the low ceiling work too. But Taking it back. I I prefer Dreamland, to be honest. He yeah. Just, just take the slightly smaller blast zones. Yeah, even if it's like only on the top, I I can agree with this from Logic, but you know what? He might know something I don't. Yeah, it could just be comfort pick too. I mean, Ollie is not bad on this stage at all. He can control center stage like few characters. This character's ground game is insane. Yeah, I, arguably one of the best in the uh, game in some situations. Yeah, I mean, I still have PTSD from Brawl Olimar. This one oh, actually man. triggers me pretty bad too. Yeah, and Brawl, oh my god. Six of those Pikmin. Six. Yeah, six, and I mean, you, you want to talk about Rich Brown and Cordy having wins over him. I'd like to see him have wins over Rich's all. Ollie and Brawl. My lord, that was annoying. To play. Yeah, that was rough. But hey, new game. But Logic's still playing with some fire to him to 86% so far. But New game, new trick. Starting off 86-0. to zero. I mean, we've seen already that kind of the game starts anew when Logic gets to, or when Cordy gets around 100%. But Logic is playing this on lockdown. Yeah, absolutely. He's reacting with Pikmin throws. He's out camping. A character that likes to hang back. Yeah, but now's the real test. Like, yeah, how camping, do you finish... Camping's one of those things that Logic is, or Olimar's is like, all right, you get this, you get this damage. But now you have to finish your plate. And sometimes Olimar just isn't that hungry. We're already at the spot where that side B's covering half stage. From center stage, it hits edge. So we're already at the point where Logic has to guess 50 50 mm -hmm. Guess with the second grab, I think that was a bit of a tech club. He didn't get a second jump out. So he was trying to cover that landing. Yeah, I love the idea from Cordy. He could die. OK, not quite. Yeah, he's, but he might be dead. If that was fully charged, he was just like this gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dodges that one. The counter. Trying with that counter again. Look at how active that hitbox is. It's insane. Look at this. How does this poor man get back on stage? I don't know. Cordy, though, evening it up. Look at the size of that Oh, my sphere. lord. Shield pressure into the wave bounce back and just toss it. Logic just got locked up. His ankles were broken there. Yeah, there's not much he could do. And now this is exactly what Cordy wants. Look at all of this. And a grab right after that. Tries to go for a 50-50, but another Aura Sphere to the face. Logic definitely on notice right now, because full Aura, almost almost full Rage, too. He's getting trapped in Shield. This Aura, this aura Sphere is at the percent now, where it can Shield Trap into Grab, and Logic, he's having trouble reacting to these approaches. He's got to roll out of it sometimes, but he doesn't have that option all the time. Blue Throw should kill. No, no. not quite. This is Battlefield. Yeah. This is the coming down to that counterfeit problem that we spoke about. That back air was... Okay, there we go. Covering the stage with that forward smash. Yeah, and Logic has to be breathing a slight sigh of relief. Yeah, exactly. Reel back in your chair, take a big breath. Uh, I mean, raid boss down. Yeah. Still got another one on the table, though. Logic has to get to it, potentially. 
Ooh, that combo's interrupted by the Pikmin latch. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, Pikmin, they're so weird in this game. They give so much and they take away a lot, too. Nice Good call read. out, though. And Logic, this man in a few seconds takes the lead. He's brought it back, yeah, but we're... We're, he hasn't really shown, he hasn't driven Cordy to the edge. If Cordy gets center stage and is able to just like play this, I'm gonna, I'll take your chip damage game that he's been playing this whole match, then I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he still has all these reasons side B. I love how willing Cordy's really, uh, uh, willing to go for it. And there we go, another ledge scenario. Goes for a pivot, pivot grab. Oh, the roll. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Logic, though, rolling just a little bit too much in those high-pressure situations. And how can you blame him? Like, look at his oh, shield. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we, I call it a raid boss for a reason. This character, when it gets, like, the audio changes, you already alluded to that, and just the intimidation factor of Lucario at high percent is not something to be, uh, to, to be taken lightly at all.